This video is a brief introduction to the new user interface for MapInfo Professional version 10. For each of the topics, you can find details in the MapInfo Professional Help Topics located in MapInfo in the Help menu. This video will show GUI enhancements and new tools including the Dynamic Scale Bar, the Enhanced Layer Control, MapCAD Tools, and Layered PDF Output. These improvements make MapInfo a more intuitive mapping package and reduce work required to produce an end product. MapInfo toolbars are now dockable, improving accessibility and layout. In addition to having floating toolbars, you can drag any toolbar to any of the four sides of the MapInfo window. With exception of the MapCAD bar, all toolbars will remain in their positions after exiting and restarting MapInfo. Currently, the MapCAD toolbar remains in the top dock only. The more modern look of the icons and the location of their images next to menu functions increase the ability to learn toolbars and make their functions more clear. Callouts displaying button function appear when the cursor is held above each button. Let's open a map window, add a dynamic scale bar, and open the layer control window. We will activate the enhanced layer control from the main toolbar to illustrate the maps and layers within. The dynamic scale bar located in the main toolbar can be customized and is placed within the window reflecting the window's current scale. The scale is interactive only with the map window. The new layer control window for map info is designed to cut down the work required to create and edit maps. The thumbtack on the layer control window bar allows for the box to be hidden or tacked in place. Like the toolbars, the layer control can float or be docked in different positions and resized. There are a few levels of control and grouping including map window, groups, and layers. Each may be edited on the fly. Here we are creating a group and will click and drag layers into the group. They can be controlled at a single level affecting all members or separately. Layers can be dragged and dropped to a group or a map window. Here we will turn the group layers off and on and we'll delete this group, leaving the layers intact. Clicking on the style swatch next to a layer brings up the style override box. Within the box, styles can be edited or previewed. Style swatches can be clicked by to apply a style override to the, to the appearance of any layer. You can see how the swatch illustrates style changes. In contrast, double-clicking or right-clicking on the layer brings up the Layer Properties box where Label and Layer Display settings can be edited. Multiple layers can be selected at one time by using the Control or Shift keys to select layers at random or in order. You can see the status of layer selection at the bottom left-hand corner of the box. This offers a count of the total number of layers selected in the event a layer is selected but is not visible in the box. Window refresh can be prevented by clicking on the green button at the bottom of the layer control box. Layer control options can be set to view all maps and layers or to view only the active maps and layers. Between maps, layers can be moved in front or behind using the arrow keys or removed using the delete tool at the top of the layer control box. Editing, selection, and viewing can all be set in the tools shown next to the layer titles. Here you will watch some examples of layer customizations.
The MapCAD tools are an add-on for MapInfo incorporated into the MapInfo 10 toolset. These tools provide extended drawing functionality to facilitate graphical object editing. For full descriptions, click on the question mark button on the MapCAD toolbar. The buttons align with a link to detailed descriptions for their use along with important information relating to the function of the tools. Following the tool links provides detailed instruction for the use of each tool. Clicking on the Set button opens the Settings box where you will find the option to deactivate tools within a list. In the Settings box you can choose cursor sizes and tolerance radius for snapping to objects. Reference layers for snapping may be selected here. Layered PDFs can be created in MapInfo Professional 10. There are a few settings which cannot be used with this feature including vector or raster translucency, enhanced rendering with anti-alias settings, or printing with enhanced EMF. If these features are enabled, MapInfo outputs to PDF without the layers. I will edit the settings. After the settings have been turned off, simply print your map window or layout using the Map Info Professional 10 PDF print driver found in your printers list. This will output to a location and file name of your choice. Here is a demonstration of printing a map window and scale bar. You will see what this layered PDF looks like and how it functions. If you have any questions, would like a demonstration or trial version or pricing, please contact us. This is not meant to be a comprehensive representation of all improvements in functionality. For a list of major developments in MapInfo and NCOM software, visit our website. Thank you for viewing our video series, and we look forward to hearing from you.